Subolengo lengura ni Lesede TV Herishero Lomonto Nkuroki Nkulongi Dweju Matatu Ondari Kinito Monobote Lava Liongu Antelari Longali Funyere Hotikita Mare Kaji Vivian Kanoi Erejo Tutura ya Wasotu Wanaboy Shoti Edwe Losho NCIC Kera Ngarna Aresi Anani Megure Nyo Rame Rasi Shure Nchoto Lari Kokti Edwe Losho Le Kenya Tengara Kamba Na Ipi Rasi Asa Na Ilebu Ati Edwe Losho Le Kenya Tengara Kengelare Olaba Lesi Telari Longali Funyere Hotikita Mare Edo Limuto Na Ilo Tutura Nkarna Arati Kita Mokuni Edi Angarna Na Jiha Tupangui Nkwi Nili Mwajo Megure Nyo Rame Ina Arna Katukul Matasi Shure Ilari Kokti Edwe Losho Le Kenya Ore Tenjoto Holotilo Rais William Ruto Neto Taylor Tutule NCIC Ejo Menyo Ra Na Baye Na Sita Katukul Ejo Lo Yejo Ninyo Shio Sishore Ina Arna To Rishad Kumokso Mba Na Ibirta Campaign Esiasa It's a believer of one who conceals the truth The target community is non-Muslims The user community are Muslims And the meaning is a negative reference to majority uh, to uh, majority who, who are live, who are living no minority who are living in predominantly a uh, muslim uh, community second is madwadoa which is very well known because that's the one that uh, has been very recently used that we have taken action against that which of course means it hurts and the, the target community is non locals and the user is political aspirants and is their supporters uh, of dominant political party in an area. And the meaning is, it is used to refer to people who are non-locals living in a place uh, dominated, dominantly known to be inhabited by a certain community. It's considered as a way of inciting one tribe against the other. Mende cockroach, I will not go really into this, now you will read it uh, since you have the document. And the uh, Mahajia is another one, which is also an Arabic word, uh, uh, meaning migrant. And uh, the targeted community is non-Muslim communities in a predominantly Muslim community, and is used by Muslims. This term refers to settlers who do not believe in similar faith with the locals. Sheng, and there are many uh, uh, Sheng terms that we have, and we will continue to get more from uh, those uh, who use it more, but we have just identified the two uh, at the moment. Kama Noma Noma. Kama Baya Baya. Now, the literal translation, if it is bad, then it is bad. And targeted community is political aspirants <clears throat> and they perceive the supporters of the less dominant political party in an area. Fumigation. It means the action or process of disinfecting or purifying an area with the fumes of certain chemicals. The targeted community is non locals where that word is used is the non-locals who are the targeted community. The user community is the locals who consider themselves as really owning that place. And the meaning is that let violence on non-locals so that they can vacate the area before the election date. Then the term uncircumcised, which translated as it is said of a man who is not circumcised, the target community is communities seen to be opposing the political party, and the user are usually politicians or their followers. And the meaning, it refers to communities which traditionally did not embrace circumcision as the rite of passage, for example, the Lu, the Tokana, and others. The word eliminate, which translated in this usage, completely remove or get rid of something or somebody or some bodies. 
the target community, communities perceived to support the dominant political party in the area in question. And who are the user community? Communities seen to support opposing political parties. The meaning? Key members of this community which is perceived not to support the dominant political party in that area. And the, the same eliminate is used but kill is also used with the same the people of kenya have resisted blackmail the people of kenya have stood against threats they have refused uh, everything that goes with the tyranny of a few people the people of Kenya have consciously refused that a few people can sit in a corner and decide for 40 or 50 million Kenyans. And that is why the people of Kenya are saying resoundingly that Hatu Pangwingui, the people of Kenya have refused blackmail, they have refused intimidation, they have refused um, threats, and they want to determine their own, destiny, their own destiny. And that's what we are doing this morning. We are building the blocks that will give every Kenyan a chance. And we dare say that wale wanafikiria ya kwamba watatupanga, ati wanafikiria ya kwamba watatumia vitisho na watatumia eh, eh, deep state ati na ingine inaitua system na ati watapanga wa Kenya tunataka kuambia mutajua hamujui eh, hamuwezi kutupanga na hamuwezi kutu, hamuwezi kutulazimisha Na hamwezi kutununua. And we are this time round going to shame the deep state and the dark forces. The people of Kenya have spoken resoundingly that they want to be masters of their own future. And so uh, we want to say it loudly and clearly to our competitors that uh, please try and cobble together a plan and an agenda to sell to the people of Kenya. Stop wasting your time trying to uh, re-engineer our literature. I, I think it is an exercise in futility to try and tell us which Kiswahili words we should use and which English words would you use? We are decent people. We are intelligent people. We are knowledgeable people. We know what we are saying. And therefore, instead of these people wasting their time fighting with the literature, they should actually look, get an opportunity to fashion or couple together a plan and an agenda to sell to the people of Kenya. <clears throat> the people of Kenya know what to do they know how to speak and they will speak at the ballot so let us not engage uh, institutions of government in a circus that will not help anybody i want to conclude my remarks by saying we are very proud this morning that we are joined by the Democratic Party, a party that has a long history and a party that has history about the economy of our republic and a party that is associated with our third president, the finest economist we ever had in Kenya, the Honorable Mwai Kibaki. So with those remarks, let me request my brother, Justin Bidan,
Ejor Julio Manjere Shageno Yoke, a room or sure to a Horkio Male ODM, the county of Mombasa, then Karakangela Rekitina Loito Dukuya, Tina County, Eroli Mutona La Chocle Kura, Yoke, Bakumona Grai Shageno, Etienki Yamuno Ton Kurai, and Baina to Telo to Rusha Shulo Kio Male U, ODM, Elimua Jomera Semano Ra in a Bai Katukul. Maimuna Abdala Ramadan. Mini mkazi wa Old Town na ni ODM members. Tuko kituocha Mombasa Premal. Mina shanga watu wataka upigia kura ni wale walojisajili kwa ODM members. Leo mina ona kuna watu sura sampuli sampuli hapa sozielewa. Na wengine si members ODM wakutoka wa from way. Hapa kituoni kuna fujo, hakuna amani, hakuna nini. Sasa hatuelewe kuna matatizo gani. Na sisi hapa tunaitaji amani, tumeaza na ODM kutokia 07. Sisi ni life members wa ODM. Cabinet. Ah, okay. Kura itanza kupigwa saa gabi, paka sahi, bado watu hajaza kupigia kura. Tuko hapa kituoni. Jina langu naituwa Moza Sharif Mohamed a.k.a. Makelele. Mimi nasema niko hapa Mombasa Primary naona watu ambao si wa Old Town wamebadilishiwa wame kura watu kutoka likoni na kutoka wapi watu wa Old Town Old Town yetu sisi kwa nini watu wabadilishwe kura waletwe Old Town eh, kutoka likoni kutoka wapi kutoka wapi magongo wapi na wapi na sisi ndo wenye ODM life member Hatukubali sisi mambo hayo na toka watu ambiwe toka saa 12 tutakatifu tuta watu wataingia wakate kura paka saa hakuna kitu inaofanyika sisi ni waislamu tumefunga kwa nini mambo afanyike hivi sisi hatuelewi kwa hivyo rekibisheni sisi hatuelewi kitu lazima murekebisha ya mambo mambo tuyaelewe na hatutaki fujo hatutaki lolote tutaka kila kitu amani ha. Nimejua manake naona sura tafauti tafauti. Mimi ni mtu mwenye mzaliwa wa Old Town. Kwa majina naitwa Fatima Hassan Ali. Mimi ni mkazi wa Old Town, nafanya biashara Old Town. Hivi nataka kuuliza swali. Kwani mtu ambao unaka Old Town utakuwa wewe mtu mmoja utajua watu wote wa Old Town wewe mtu mmoja wewe? Alafu istoshe, kwani itakuwa mtu eli huwezi kupigia kura kama mkazi wa Old Town unafanya biashara Old Town. Kwa hivyo nikapigia kura hapa kati nafanya biashara huko Old Town. Kweli ni sawa hiyo? Majina naitwa Bashir Osman. Hii ni hii ni exercise na kila mkenya yuko na haki ya kuparticipate. Sijui ni wa, watu wote ni wa Kenya, wote ni wa Kenya na wako na haki ya kupiga kura. Kama wewe umepanic hiyo ni shida yako. Kitu muhimu ni kama kila mtu ana kura. Mimi naitwa Alamin Salim Takdiri. Ni presiding officer wa hii kituo ya Mombasa Primary School. Tumewaambia wananchi hapa ambao wamekuja kupigia kura tumepatiwa tablet ambayo wale ambao wanaweza kupigia kura ni wale wamejisajili atakapoweka kitambulisho chake ile system itafunguka kama ni mpigaji wa kura wa hapa na atapiga kura tu na kama akiweka kitambulisho chake si wa hapa ile system itakataa Hawezi kupigia kura. Eh? Hiyo ni kazi ya bure. Kama wamejileta ni kazi ya bure. Wakati system watakapoweka ID namba yake ikifunguka atapiga. Ikikataa atarudi. Tumechelewa kupata vifaa, lakini tuko tayari sahi. Tunajitayarisha tuanze kazi. Wacha ni ongea, bro. Sawa. Sawa, mimi naitua safe. Mimi ni mkazi wa Old Town. Na nasikia uchungu sana. Nasikia uchungu sana. We have one aspirant against five aspirants here. Wanashindania. One aspirant anabwaga matatu after matatu from another counties. What is going on here? Sisi tuko na rights zetu. Hawa ni watu wetu. How come you bring in a leader? 
huu anajilazimisha kwa watu ambao hawamtaki analeta watu wa nje wampigie kura aingie kwa mamlaka hatumtaki sisi ndio wakazi sisi ndio tunajua shida yetu sio we yeye amechukua piga kamera waone watu ile ukweli iko hapa hii kituo imejaa watu wa nje hawajui shida yetu wanapiga kura leo Ejor kulio manjeri bangu twa hold tutule likoro to lo monti ya dwelo sha CA ya communication authority of Kenya Aidro Luaya Ashwiro Kibala Kenya Hilo Benye Lo Shole Kenya Mbana Ibir Resirato Laini Ni Tiatwa Elosho Laini Ni Lesimu Ili Mwa Jome Apo Kenga Yoshi Akino Biro Kia Sire Laini Ni Lesimu Tiatwa Elosho Le Kenya By setting the April 15th, 2022 deadline. However, in so doing, ladies and gentlemen, it was expected that Whichever mechanism adopted by the telecommunications operators to ensure compliance, such mechanisms shall be orderly, consumer-centric, and not disruptive. The events of the last three days have instead pointed to the need for better coordination, communication, and collaboration among all actors. Following consumer feedback and the observations that we've made, the authority has held consultative meetings with operators was with us here today and we've agreed on a number of actions that will be taken to facilitate compliance without disrupting duly registered subscribers. The first action point we agreed on was that all operators shall provide a self-verification USSD code and online platform with standardized menus and messages. The USSD code that is star 106 hash shall be used by all operators for verification. This means that subscribers do not have to physically present themselves at the operator's customer service centers unless it is necessary. We also agreed to focus on minimum requirements. The regulations do not require subscribers to submit photos of themselves during registration of ver or the verification exercise. However, records of subscribers must include identification documents such as national IDs, service cards for discipline forces, passports, and birth, certificate, uh, birth certification, whichever is applicable. Of course, we've indicated that we must insist that this is not fresh registration, but validation. We have agreed that this is not registration or, fresh ex uh, or a fresh registration exercise. A fresh registration exercise presumes declaring the existing registration null and void. This is not the case. It's an opportunity for operators and their customers to validate respective details of registration. The exercise will address the documentation gaps that have become commonplace as already indicated earlier. Our aim is to ensure 100% compliance. The operators and subscribers must cooperate to ensure full compliance with legal requirements of SIM card registration. This is beneficial to both subscribers and their respective operators or service providers. As a result, the exercise will continue until 15th of April deadline that has been set as deadline, and the authority will provide further guidance depending on the outcome of that exercise. Ladies and gentlemen, the requirement to update subscriber registration details is being done primarily to protect consumers of telecommunication services, who is basically you and myself, including, of course, the CEO sitting here, they're also customers of their own telecommunications uh, uh, operators. Instances of SIM boxing, financial fraud, kidnapping, terrorism, and related crimes prevail in situations of compromised SIM card registration processes. How can we win the war against such crimes if we cannot participate by ensuring that our records are actually updated. Last but not least, we are also sensitive to the impact of misinformation, especially around 
this particular period of electioneering. electioneering. We have already seen how facts around this exercise have been misrepresented and misinterpreted. We have already, uh, while it is not a surprise to us, I wish to encourage the media and the public to be vigilant on facts as we go through this exercise. But I also want to assure you that we are committed to ensuring that the integrity of the registration details of all SIM card subscribers is actually maintained in accordance with existing laws and regulations. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the clarification we needed to provide. Ejo orkulio manjere tara hilo wara kara show holo orngatun hilo intare na baya onom okuni ormare hilo legile show temuru orki metare tolon tolole kaunti narok isha keno te na hilo mare na na sarani kumo kya muera ra hilo wara kintare na baya onom okuni te ne bomki shuni mbaye na ya kere hilo mare inka sarani kumo koleng eromono na wolduru le KWS ne shukuki na she. Peter Olagilisho, Nanu Duilo, Onoro, and Yamalian Rijanga, Nwesi, Imarara, Ner Ndare, Onomoguni, Ongishuni, Nasho, and Nashe, KWS, Aro Shogesimu, Nebunu, the Sioguno, Leng, Erogiasha, Nashe, Ella Lemurua, Jarara Lai, Neo Sotua, Olongana Borin, the Longara, Tangaragana Rad and Ebo, the Nebo, Anano, Maliganaji, KWS, Ajogi, or the Angaragi Sioguno, Nira Siogutu, I respond. Ara show a yolo wana nyamali na rijuma na umona agenda ya siogu nazo be ngalolo na aji orma imele na bae ara showa entumwa na nyamali na ashamo e imuna na mwezi amu ora sini jangwe si hona ni jaga la madada kenda angishwa aiki tangu ni gile bido kage ora na aji ni zaya nyamali na ijana na na ora na aji ni ni soje soje senda ya siogu nazo pegi tumna aji na nyamali na inyala na nangwe si ni sol ni nye na inyala dia duanga ngiti aga aji mwe kona ora langa ngola barmuwa ere jinga keta lo guara ndare langa ngola gile show. Na rendare ono mokuni ongi shuni bari na ninya na ibu ngolo goru reja nyol ronga ni kagi bungona ni kishwa ke WS na she amore be ki jodo report na ra bauda den ki sosio ki omo ke WS amore ra ra nyeyo na yogo ti ango be ka lale la konservasi na miki ya dalda i ronga ngitie na ra ne mi shori yo me ka ranga ngitie ro we din ro sekenge amuge jodo i na konservasi ne ku ku omo konservasi ore ko na ngitie na ba ya di kitam ni shori na alda i den ku ja mu security ki omo ke ke WS amora ba e din dare na ra manga ole sengeng Orang orang yang jauh pada hari Senin, ada mabal logo arah 2014. Nelor bayi yang nasut, ni kerim pala. Ibu saya ibu tu mula bayi yang nerodo tu betul ni. Ibu kita tu si orang jauh senja biasa jaga ni lor leh ni nak isyanya nyanak. Amu asar apa? Orde senja orang gule dua anak tu muda logo arah. Negeri umum kita beliau sah jogi. Afa di liar bincang jauh senja ni lor leh. Reda tu amu arah dua agi sihir dan kangi dia. Negeri umum nu musai di si waldai. Orde negeri jenah konservasi. Nada megura bishuri yoma tepe segenge angkop. Nada bayi lomontong korokiti arwasi day TV kaji Vivian Kanui.